So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here today is probably the best value pack small electric car here in our market today. So this is the all new 2024 Dongfang Nanobox. So I'd like to thank Dongfang Alabang and to Dongfang Tours Philippines for making this review possible. I was invited at the Metro 10 Passing along to with BBM. Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, so I think this probably, as I said, is the best value pack small electric car because this competes with the Jet tour ice cream and the BAW Pony S but unlike those vehicles I mean from the appearances alone with this nano box this looks like a small crossover subcompact crossover rather than a small little cute toy car and yet I really like the looks of this so you get the ice cream mint color over there too my favorite color with this nano box is actually the demo unit outside with the black and gold uh, looks kind of reminds me of the old Lotus F1 Liris ground clearance is pretty decent it's 150 millimeters and to, unlike with the other toy electric cars, you get 16570 and 14 inch wheels, you get disc brakes at front and drum setup at the rear. Here are your light assemblies too. So your main headlight is actually this one over here, they're halogens and then you get repeaters along too with your DRLs, LED turn signals all around. And to what I like with this nano box, yes, it mimics like that of a very small crossover. So yes, there is cladding over here, but it does not extend here on the doors. So kind of gives it a more cleaner look than usual. And like with all uh, nano box vehicles, you get the what bronze gold dish trims all around the vehicle. So around in the headlights, up here on the roof wheels, and more in the interior, which I'll get to in a bit. And then pairing this nano box, it's actually pretty surprising, unlike some with other uh, electric cars, you don't have a front boot whatsoever. So the electric motors are stored all underneath here. So pairing this nano box is a 28.9 kilowatt hour battery that produces 44 horsepower and 125 Newton meters of torque. So two, this is just a one speed direct dive like with all electric vehicles. I noticed immediately when I opened this the first time during the launch of this, uh, of the Dongfang brand here in the Philippines, there's a lot of space here in the engine bay itself since you have lesser parts here compared to a combustion engine vehicle and to 0 to 50 kilometers per hour is done in six seconds unlike with the competition uh, like with the Jetur ice cream the BAW Pony S this has a range of 351 kilometers pretty impressive kind of considering this electric vehicle as well too this is a budget vehicle so it's a little bit more expensive as the aforementioned competition because this one is priced at 888,000 pesos but i gotta say you get a lot now for your money because yet again this is already sized like a subcompact crossover already so back here on the side profile, like what I said, there's just less cladding than usual. So it kind of gives it a little bit uh, of a cleaner look with this nano box. So here at the rear of this nano box, yeah, the cladding continues here now. But what I like, as I said too, in front, there's more of the golden bronze trims over here. You get your LED taillights. Reverse camera, surprisingly, right here on the badge. You're going to get your box uh, logo only here on the right side. And... Not much to talk about here at the rear, but surprisingly too, I was not expecting this to have a button here for the tailgate too, so yet again it gives it a bit more of the crossover vibes. The space here surprisingly is really really good compared with this competition. Total space here is at 300 liters and you even get a tonneau cover. And this is too for your charging cable and the port itself is located up front so you get one for your slow charger and one DC fast charger so more on the charging times later on too and then underneath you only have a tire repair kit there's no spare tire really for this uh, nano bag folding down the rear seats is a 0 to 100 layout that means it's just one whole piece and it boot space extends to 1107 liters which is actually really really good so yeah, that's what about with the exterior, the boot, and the electric motors of this nano box. Let's check out the interior. So this is the interior of the all new Dongfang nano box. So here in the door card, yes, everything here is plastic, but at least you still get the nice white and bronze tints over here. So, so with the door tab, it's better than the competition, I have to say at least. Here in the interior with this nano box, again, comparing with the competition, this feels a lot more premium than usual. Yes, everything here is plastic here then, but at least it makes it up for, for the, all of the 
uh, bronze and white trims over here in the dashboard so here in the left side you have your side mirror adjustments your tip computer button locking for the windows so this is the first car I've encountered to that has a manual leveling for the headlights itself but hey at least there still is none of even the competition have this feature at all so here in the steering wheel it's a steering wheel no buttons whatsoever it's actually polyurethane this is actually the most premium thing here in the interior in my opinion so it continues the black and bronze trim so party piece with this nano back are the screens so pretty much basic but actually i like when you start the vehicle it gives a nice smooth animation and then here in your instrument cluster pretty basic at least it displays your important features only and like to this has even a tps meter and then here for your infotainment system pretty decent with the transition from sliding left to right there's actually a lot more you can do sadly there's no apple carplay and android auto you, you only get carbit mirror link over here so similar like with bluetooth uh, mirror links but hey at least there still is and then to your reverse camera surprisingly it's a very wide angle but then again at least there is like with the competition though you don't have a glove box over here below the infotainment system and the air conditioning vents here are your climate control functions they're all knobs too you get the rest of your buttons here for your window switches for locking the car and even the heating function too surprisingly then further back you have a cubby space here I think just about fit phones too so not too bad here in the center console itself yeah it doesn't extend all the way here but it's very perfect to place your hand over here and correction the steering wheel is not the most premium thing anymore here in the interior it's actually this gear shift it feels really really good feels like that of uh, call me crazy with some like ford like with the ford territories and very similar cues to like with uh, jlr products too further down the center console you have an eco button i don't know why it's located there but at least you have a USB port, a 12 volt socket, and a cup holder. Have a manual handbrake here too. And then the seats here. Surprisingly, I was expecting this to be all fabric. Well, there are some materials that are fabric, but at least you have leather soft and a carbon fiber trim ish here on the bolsterings itself too. You have bronze stitching all around. Bolstering? Okay, so so it's alright too. So above here, you have a voice command microphone, halogen light, sun visor with a ticket clip holder. Yeah, that's actually really far but the quality is all right too so yeah that's about here in front of this nano box let's check out the rear seats so this is are the rear seats of the dongfang nano box so here at the rear door card well exactly the same like the ones in front but there's no more cubby spaces and cup holders sadly anymore but surprisingly against with the competition yet again space here in the box pretty decent so i have enough feet room knee room and even headroom for a car this month pretty impressive around five seven five eight would be just all right here at the rear of this nano box so not much toys here at all so you get very flimsy map pockets on either side you feel like my pants and then if I sit here in the middle, you have a very weird layout of the transmission panel. But at least you can put your feet up wherever you want. It's not that in the way that much. And sitting here in the middle. Okay, feels a little bit more comfortable than usual than in the re left and right side of the seats. Because everything here in the middle is all leather. Because the left and right side in the seats, like the ones in front, there's some fabric materials for the cushion and for the backrest. Okay, I'd rather sit here in the middle, surprisingly. But if you're skinny like me, yeah, you can fit at least three or four, even four people for emergencies only here at the rear. So yeah, comparing again with its competition, at least you have five doors and a lot more space than usual. So yeah, that's about here at the rear of this nano box. Let's go for a drive. So this is it. Gonna drive the Dongfeng nano box. Oh, so first impressions immediately. It's very light the, the steering wheel and uh, sadly there's no telescopic function at all but and again it's a budget car I'm willing to forgive it oh speed sensing door locks okay wasn't expecting that at all and then here let's try to it oh oh that's pretty decent yeah, there's a lot of tar noise going in the cabin but then again as i keep saying this is a budget electric vehicle so not bad so remember you have 44 horsepower and 125 newton meters of the top 
Alright, that's actually pretty decent. So this will be an ideal daily car for me to be honest. I mean, gets up to speed pretty quickly. So remember, the top speed of this is actually the national speed limit itself. It's at 100 kilometers per hour. And surprisingly, the I mean, there's body lean, but it's just your uh, typical crossover. It's not just like some toy car you can just fling around. Make no mistake, though, the handling of this, even though it's really light, it's pretty good too. And yeah, just here on a little bit of high speed. Yes, there's a lot of tire noise going in the cabin, but then again, I'm willing to forgive it because it's a what budget car. And yet again, very weird that the eco button is right here down below. So let's tie that off now. Since we started to an eco mode. Oh, okay, that's a little bit more. You see, it's a little bit more eager to put its power up down. Not to my surprise. Actually, this is a little bit more fun to dive than the other two that I keep mentioning. <laughs> okay, right. Of course, it will kind of skid its tires a little bit since even though this is kind of heavier car than the other two, this is like around almost one ton, I think around 921 kilograms. Yeah, it's surprisingly a bit more peppier than usual. Yeah, not gonna, I'm enjoying driving this thing. And yeah, that's kind of pretty much it with this uh, nano box. I mean, it's a very good ideal what city car, well, electric city car put it there wow and I love that electric motor white too yeah, a lot of body lean playing here and there but wow that's actually impressive I'm gonna lie yep taking this to the province it is very capable of going there too since this has double the range than the uh, the rest of the competition remember 351 kilometers of electric range that's pretty impressive for what this is and this is just a small crossover wow i like this so to the brake field it's kind of stiff but at least it's just one constant brake field let's go here in this part of alabang i just want to test out its suspension though Well, disregarding the tire noise, I mean, it's not so bad. It's kind of like, again, with the budget city car. Few manholes. And surprisingly, not much wind noise going in the cabin. Surprisingly, too, there's not much uh, suspension touch to air. I'm really surprised with this nano box. It's kind of, it kind of exceeded all of my expectations. So, is it worth the 888,000 pesos? Not gonna lie, yes, it's very much worth it. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive than the other two that I've driven, but you get more space, more range, way more range. And for me, this is kind of a looker too. I would personally pick this black and gold one because, like what I said, this mimics like that of the what Lotus F1 livery. And then off the line, yeah, it can keep up with traffic, but easily. Yeah, the suspension a little bit stiffer than the other two, but it's still un not an uncomfortable experience. <laughs> then, sir, what are the charging times of this uh, nano box? For the nano box, natin, sir, kapag sa mga outlet sa bahay natin, mm -hmm. it's 220 volts. So, uh, from 0 to 50, kaya niya mag full charge ng 4 hours. Okay, 4 hours. Yes. Then, for the DC? For fashion, the DC so. naman, sa mga Ayala Malls, SM Malls, and other Shell Station commercials, within uh, 35 minutes, kaya niya mag 80 to 100%. It depends dun sa natira pang percent ng battery. Right. So, mapilis pa rin siya. Okay, that's pretty quick too. So, at least you can charge this almost anywhere. CC2 port, right? Yes. Okay, CC2. CCS2 port. Okay, that's unlike with the other competition which have GBT ports. At least you can charge this anywhere. So, yeah, that concludes my review of this Dongfang Nano Box. So, there'll be one more uh, review coming up here at Dongfang Alabang. I'd like to thank them so much to Dongfang Motors Philippines and to Sir Nino Rico over here too for making this all possible. So, one more time. <laughs> so, Hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews and more electric cars too. Bye bye.